explain to the people, bro, who that is. That is my kid. That's your daughter. The most beautiful thing I ever had oh. in my life. The funny thing, though, is that uh, you remember in my first vlog, uh, when I was moving to Los Angeles, I said that, like, how does it feel being stuck in Norway and having a baby while I'm moving out to LA? I'm going to play that clip now. kind of funny, though, because I'm leaving, leaving for LA, and you were like, just staying home and having a baby. Uh-huh. And now he actually has a kid. Her name is Linnea. I gave her that teddy bear right there. <laughs> We got the up and coming magician right here. All right. Dollar bills. Okay. Hundred dollar bills. Hey, pick a card. Pick a card. Pick just one. Just one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, you choose that. Okay. Yeah, or you can just go ahead and eat the cards. Yeah, yeah. like that. Like spaghetti. <laughs> if Jake would have seen this, he would have been like, "What are you doing?" Several days later. Tricep is improving. Anyways, guys, uh, it is after New Year's. It's the first. It's the first workout we're gonna do uh, in this next year. So I'm super stoked. I'm super stoked because we're gonna do some heavy deadlifts. I got my Naruto socks on. You see that? So we're in Larvik, Norway. This is where I used to live before I moved to Los Angeles. I'm gonna be here for like three or four days because my girlfriend Nula she lives here, uh, and all my friends are here. Anyways, we're gonna hit some deadlifts right now. So let's get it. Thought I wouldn't make it They all think that you're faking But seeing ain't believing I know now I take all your stupid Burn it as my fuel, yeah Cause we're running out of time So I'm gonna make it mine The chosen one, I'm not the one to underestimate I want the throne, I've grown the crush Obstruction, rush the bad case on me, told them follow me. They see the vision. Now it's 2020. Clear as tower lakes is clear as day. No longer move around and fear disarray. Pray you hear me like the winter wind against your window pane. Feel the face, baby. Soak it in and let it marinate. It's time to hustle. Gotta muscle up and run through barricades. Yeah. It's an origin sucks. You guys, uh, I just want to say that this is kilos, not pounds. Um, so this is like 10 kilos, that's 25 pounds. This is 25 kilos, that's like uh, like 55 pounds, and these are 45 pounds, and that's a that's a 10. You can get up and finish that journey. You will be one of the greatest the world has ever seen. First step of going to the next level in your life is simply believe. If you believe with undeniable faith, your dreams can come true. So I was a failed attempt. I couldn't even. Like I got it up, but I couldn't really lock it out because uh, I feel like I don't have any chalk and I'm doing this completely wrong. I'm not blaming it on that, but I know for a fact that if I had chalk and my fingers didn't slip, I know for a fact that I would, I could get it up. What we're gonna do? We're actually gonna try one more time. I'm gonna like take five minutes to just relax, and then I'm gonna try one more time to get it. <laughs> Naruto socks, they uh, definitely, they definitely helped me today. Um, I won't count to 200, this is actually 200 kilos, or so 455 pounds. Uh, so, I feel like I got the first one, I know for a fact, if I would've had chalk, I could've done it easily, so. And it was like this much, this much until I got it, because I, I was here, and I only had to go from here to here, that's it. But I, I, like for me, I don't count that. A lot of people would count that, but I won't count it. But look at my, look at this. Oof. That's gonna, um, that's gonna be painful, I'll tell you that. We're gonna have to do like plaster or paper right now because I don't want any infections and stuff like that, obviously. One funny thing <laughs> that I, I called it out. I really called it out before I went here because I knew for a fact that I was gonna go heavy on deadlifts. So I was like, what if I do like 455 
and I make it. And then the, the guys that work here come along and they'd be like, can you please just uh, put that down like quietly? <laughs> and then it actually happened. She came and she was like, can you please put that down quietly? And I was like, yeah, I tried to, <laughs> I tried to. <laughs> so we're done hitting uh, heavy deadlifts. It's been a minute since I've done so much, uh, that much in deadlifts. I haven't done that in probably like, half of a year or something like that when I was like five, six, seven kilos more. So like this is it's super big. Uh, so what we're gonna do since we go since we went so heavy on deadlifts and stuff like that, uh, we're actually just gonna go super light and we're just gonna concentrate on our hamstrings today. So we're gonna just isolate the hamstrings like hardcore. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're basically gonna do three um, three or four hamstring exercises. Just full blown, feel the tension, feel everything like that. Um, and we're just gonna focus on really destroying that hamstring and just tear it off the bone. So let's get it. Also I got this thing right here. Don't want any germs or black death or whatever you call it, Ebola. I don't want that. So let's fucking get it. When I'm not the one to underestimate I want the throne out on the crush Obstruction, rush the bed case Levitate, got it tatted on me Told them follow me, they see the vision Now it's 2020 uh, Towards the high angle, because that's going to engage more of your hamstrings uh, They're having a group session right there So I don't know how well you can hear me right now I actually got a new mic, or a new mic right here So we'll see how that works But we're going to do single legs Crush obstruction, rush the bed case Levitate, got it tatted on me Told them follow me, they see the vision now 2020 clear as tile legs is clear as day no longer move around and fear disarray pray you hear me like the winter wind against your window pane feel the bass baby soak it in and let it marinate it's time to hustle gotta muscle up and run through bear case yeah. so they're closing in five minutes so i want to at least get a set of abductors in so we're just going to do a quick uh, quick session here of abductors also uh I remember mean, yesterday I posted something on Instagram that got me really adulated. It got, made me angry. <laughs> it made me super angry actually because I went to the gym and I, I used to go to that gym for like two years ago. And I remember they only went up to like 80 pounds or 75 pounds. That's 35 kilos. So I went there yesterday or something like that. So I asked them, I was like, uh, do you guys go heavier? Uh, now and she was like no this is a gym for normal people and I was like wait what because that that made me actually really angry it's like not to be like ego or anything like that but I've been working out for like three years like now I consider myself big I consider myself strong and everything like that it's because I put in the work right so anybody can literally do it so what I'm thinking is that if you go to the gym and you're super like motivated and you're like you're in it and you go to the gym every day and you work out and then all of a sudden people are gonna be like no you're not normal like what even is that you know but anyway uh, we're finished up so we're gonna go into the car right now so let's get it God damn it. there we go uh, okay guys, so we're actually just gonna drive now. Uh, I'm super tired. It was a super good workout But I haven't done 455 in a long time or if you count it or not, I am not counting it I mean it was this much, but I'm still not counting it But in my head I actually lifted it up, but I didn't lock it. So it's not a, a legal lift if you would say uh, but anyways, what I wanted to tell you guys, for all you resolutioners that made a New Year's revolution that you wanted to be fit, you wanted to work out, just just literally go ahead right now, if you're watching this, just pause it, go ahead and just go to the gym. Like that's what it takes. Like if you want, if you want to, if you want to be fit, if you really want to change, you just have to go to the gym. It's not really that hard. It will take you three weeks, and then your body will like, or your mind will get like uh, used to it, and after that, you're 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 a snowball. You'll only get bigger and bigger and bigger. You know. So just just keep that in mind. Or you can say that you're gonna do stuff. And you're like, oh, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. You're not, you're not gonna do it tomorrow. Stop making excuses, cause you know for a fact that you're not gonna do it tomorrow. And I was like that too for like, maybe like four years or something like that. I was like, oh, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. But obviously I didn't do it tomorrow. Hold on, I'm just gonna go ahead and back up real quick. And obviously I didn't do it the other day. And I remember I was watching YouTube. I was actually watching a guy named Dylan McKenna. And he was just working out. And I was like, you wanna know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go and work out right now. Cause I remember I, I was sat there in the sofa so comfortable. I was like pretty, I had anorexia at that time. But I, I was sitting so comfortable and I was like, I did just not wanna go and work out. I didn't even have a subscription or anything. But I just went 
I just went. And I strongly suggest that you do the exact same thing. Because tomorrow is tomorrow. You're just going to keep saying, like, I'm going to do it tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. I'm sitting here ranting right now. But I just want the best for you. Because I know there's a lot of people that really want to. Yeah, it's getting dark right now, huh? Mm -hmm. But anyways, I know there's a lot of people that really want to get in shape. And the only thing that is holding your back is actually you. Like, you are the only, only person that can make changes to yourself. Okay? I just want to tell you guys that that and uh, I'm going to show you guys a super cool drone shot that I got the other day. So uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next vlog. Peace out.